September 9th, 9.52 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Hello guys and welcome to TGN, the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about opening games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. The last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we, well, we got arrested by the, by Miss May's mysterious man who murdered Miss Mia. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and try to defend ourselves to the best of our ability. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah, one way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I received a call from the public prosecutor's office yesterday. He told me that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have, a, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What, does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can do is hope to get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? F Phoenix? Well, court will be opening for session soon. What? But wait, your defense attorney isn't even here yet. He is not. I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. September 9th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number one. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are, quite, are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of another witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... it's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe, an, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Hmph. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name! These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, to use a more com or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem. Why well, tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. Wright, you may be er, Mr. White, you may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho oh ho! I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. So yeah, Maya's over here. 
Witnesses account. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then that I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible action. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, that I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Er, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Witnesses account. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. Press. How do you know what time it was? Because I am always absolutely perfect, you know? No, 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 you're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for 9 o'clock. It just... It, it happened soon after the room, room service arrived. Hmm, that's what Miss May said, too. True, but the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Ahem, this is your concern? Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. He would need x-ray vision to pull off something like that. Huh. Tell us, what were you doing at that time? I was quietly perusifying, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. By window, you mean the one directly across from the Fane Cole office? Correct, that is the only window you see. And there you were reading... papers? Correct! The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I am a busy man who had business to do. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. So you were reading your papers until you heard that sound? But of course, I am no snoop peeping out of windows at night. No snoop? Yeah, right. You made a career out of snooping. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Spiky-haired? Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the judge on, anyway? And what did you do then? I called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. Whoops. What was Miss May doing at the time? They had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Faye woman. You'd make a, you'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh ho! After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. 
Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. The victim ran to the left and you gave chase. Are you sure about that? How many times must I say it? I am as a abs absolutely perfect. End of story. How many times must I hear that? I was just about to say, Psst, Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you was a little odd? Finally, there was a terrible infection. Then it was all over. Um, impaction? Don't you just mean impact? Ridiculosity, I think you need to brush up on your language skills. On second thought, perhaps I'd better leave the whole language thing alone. Did that Drift prep this guy too, I wonder? Anyway, I'd better find a weakness in there. So yeah, now, the thing here is that uh, the new statement, the victim ran to the left. If we go ahead and check this thing over here, May testimony. The one thing that she testified that, that that was the truth is that the victim dodged an attack then ran to the right, but he says that they ran to the left. Objection. Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh, it's simple. You must have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing? Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both witnesses are telling the truth, for once. Huh, I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario in which the... There's one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co., of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Show the court where the Mr. White was standing. This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion! The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho! You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's... laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck, you can't fix a bo broken testimony, buddy. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her, savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow.
that is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Ugh. The voice is starting to, like, actually, like, take effect on my throat. <laughs> hmm, that doesn't, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. This May's testimony was correct, as was mine. What do you mean by that? That is what I am about to explain. You Americans, always so impatient, it does not become you. Hey, buddy, you're, a, you're an American, too. When you assaulted the girls, you first ran to the left. What do you mean, first? First, that is what comes before what happens next. You do speak English, right? Please, sit back, relax. I will try to use simple words for your benefit. First, she ran to the left. Then... And then you hit her, savagely. That is what I saw. I didn't hit anyone. No, no, Mr. Wright. There is no point hiding things from this court. I'm not hiding anything. The prosecution requested the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Why is he mad at me? Next, with the last of his strengths, he ran to the right. What do you mean by next? Next is what comes after first. I know that. Then that is all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. As I said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Stop saying it was me. But it was you. Mr. Wright, if you claim that it was not you, then show us proof. Ah, can I do nothing right? Nothing? May I continue? That is what Miss May saw. So each of you saw different parts? Absolutely, that's right, of course. Where did he pick up that annoying phrase? Anyway, moving along. You see, you hit it twice. So were you watching both times? I suppose I was. And please excuse me for not tes testifying to this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? I think we've got him right where we want him. Let's let him laugh for now. I'll soon wipe that smile off his face. Ms. May's testimony was correct as was- Okay, so the, t the contradiction here was- It's a bit of a subtle one. He says, see, you hit her twice. So if we check the autopsy report, died from a blow by a blunt object. Not died from multiple blows, just a blow. Objection! Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Uh, up. Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Mm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness ob is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Y yes, yes, quite. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. Crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one now, White. Mr. White? Okay. And so, if I can save at this point. Yes, okay, we'll get to this testimony next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue White's testimonies and see if we could get close to finishing off this case. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!